Hey y'all, hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Kayleen, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, and I am a senior at the University of Houston, and I am also on the dance team. I thought that I would take you guys through a day slash maybe a week in my life as a member of the dance team and also a student, obviously. So it's pretty early right now. I just woke up at six and now it is 6.20. Um, I'm just gonna finish getting ready. I have class at 8.30 a.m. today and I'll probably leave my house by like 7.15 because I live um, out in the suburbs and there's tons of traffic this time of day and on Mondays especially. I don't usually wear a lot of makeup on the days that I just have class. Today I have class pretty much all day and then in the evening I have practice. I don't have anywhere to be showing my face off. I don't really care. <laughs> and I'd rather make a nice breakfast and like take the morning to myself than worry about putting on makeup. So every morning I like to sit here at my desk and I write in my journal. And I try like my hardest in the mornings to not be on my phone for quite a while until like I leave. And I think this just helps me like stay focused in the morning first off and like actually just get ready <laughs> as opposed to playing around on my phone and because it like just puts me in a good mental space for the day. So I'm gonna do that now and I'll get back to y'all probably when I'm headed out the door. Okay, about 7.20 now and I'm headed to school. I just realized that I only have one contact in my eye for like all day. Yeah, I'm about to have my pretty much hour-long commute. In the evenings, it only takes like 30 minutes, but this time of day, it's like a full hour. I alternate between first listening to the news, like NPR, and then music or like a podcast or something because it can get kind of boring. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to class, I guess. Sorry, this lighting's really weird. I'm in my car right now um, in the parking garage, and I just came back because I realized I forgot something. Um, I usually have another class after my 8.30, but it was canceled this week, so I'm about to take this rest of my break time to go to like my favorite coffee shop on campus and just study. And it's only 10 right now, and I don't have another class until 2.30. So I'm just gonna be here like studying. I have a test later, so that's kind of good, I guess. Hello, I am back in my car. I <laughs> took my test and I had another class after, and I'm about to head into practice. So let's go. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. hey fans. Um, so today we're doing special practice, and we're going to our basketball facility. What's it called? Uh, the arena? Fertita. Fertita. The Fertita I don't know what it's, Center. it's not an arena. I don't know. Center. Center. The Center. Fertita Center is what it's called officially. Usually we practice over there in the band hall, which is like connected to our stadium. It's bad lighting, but it's dark outside. So yeah, we're going there because basketball season starts soon and that's exciting. Oh, it's spooky. <laughs> oh, you need lighting? Okay, bye. Oh. <laughs> I think hello. Yeah. Oh, you were cool. Yeah, yeah it's me and my friends. Wow. Um, <laughs> a lot is going on right now. Look at them. The little BBs. Okay. More friends. Those are cheer friends. These are dance friends. This is me living a sad life right now. <laughs> hey, I'm back in my car again. It's new. Um, I'm leaving practice now. It's 9:06 p.m. So I'm excited to go home and eat dinner and go to sleep. It's morning now, obviously. Uh, last night, I ended up just going to sleep when I got home. Well, like I ate and I went to sleep because it was late and I was tired. 
But today is a new day. It's Tuesday and I'm about to go to my physical therapist um, because if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I tore my ACL a couple months ago. So I go to rehab twice a week and then I might go work out after. I don't know yet. Hi guys. Um, so I'm back from physical therapy and I actually have work today. Um, I have an internship on campus that I go to two or three times a week, depending on my schedule. And usually I go in like around noon on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And right now it's only 9.45, so I'm gonna try and get ready quickly and then go vote before um, I have to start working because it's election day and I don't wanna go vote. So I honestly don't really put heat on my hair very often, just in my like day-to-day -day life because for Cougar Dolls, we style our hair for every game or appearance and there are times where I'm putting heat like a lot of heat on it um, once or twice a week and I feel like that's already a lot like I just have very fine hair and it's colored so I have to like be careful with what I'm doing to it but last night I was so tired and I got home that I took a shower and I just went to sleep with it wet so it's looking all kinds of crazy now and I'm just trying to fix it up a little bit so I don't look crazy when I go into the office. I finished getting ready and it's still kind of early. So I'm waiting for some clothes to dry and I'm just gonna like clean up the kitchen and probably eat lunch. So I live by myself, but like in the house that I grew up in. My mom recently moved for work and I have an older brother, but he moved out as well. So I'm like the only one here in the house right now. Um, so that means I have to take care of things and I've kind of let it go uh, to the waysides. Is that the right phrase? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do some dishes and that's pretty much it. This is the first semester where it's been so chill for me. I guess because I'm a senior and I'm only in four classes in a lab, I just feel like I have all this free time, like I don't have as much homework because everything is more like project based and I have all this random time to expend on things like doing dishes. <laughs> it's been interesting living here by myself, but I kind of like it. I'm a very introverted person, so I like having my solitude. <laughs> dishes and I'm just gonna start making some lunch like all the dishes that I was doing was because I meal prepped on Sunday um, so that's what I'm gonna eat right now like I just went ahead and like made dinner and lunch for the week and it helps me make better choices since I tore my ACL and since the surgery I have definitely not been moving my body as much as I typically do now that I'm starting to like recover and be able to do more things I just want to be like more intentional about what I'm eating what I'm doing. Okay, so I just made some like chicken and veggies and rice. And if I'm like really in a hurry, I'll probably just like put the whole thing in the microwave. But since I'm here and I have some time, I put it on the stove and I'm gonna sit here and eat. I was like literally about to leave the house and I was like feeling so adult and like great and professional and then I hear this loud noise and I come over and my, my what's it called, my washing machine like exploded essentially. Um, I don't know if you can see this water, but it's still really wet. I just put all these towels everywhere to like make sure it wouldn't get to the hardwood or on like our rugs. But literally it's like pool of water over here. Like it just like everything that was in there all of a sudden just like flew out and the door opened and like water was rushing out. But now I have to figure out what I'm supposed to do about all this water in the living room. Or not the living room, the laundry room. So I'm just gonna like go and try and find more towels everywhere and clean this up. <laughs> what a day. Okay, so as you saw, I had to take care of that nonsense that just happened. And now I'm gonna get on with the rest of my day and my life. So I'm gonna head to my old high school to go vote. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, and then I'll head to school for work. Okay, it's like 7.30 now, and I'm finally home. Um, I ended up voting and then doing some work, 
and I had a meeting for um, an organization that I'm in. So I'm just now getting home and I'm gonna go to sleep soon, but my battery's dying, so I gotta go, bye. Okay, so false alarm, I am not just gonna go to sleep just yet. Um, I remembered that I have this event for cougar dolls tomorrow and I'm super pale, so I just spent the last like 20 minutes um, putting a fake tan on, like a self tan. Um, so like I showered and then I put that on and it's kind of hard when you're by yourself and <laughs> you can't reach your back, but I did my best and I'm hoping I look okay tomorrow. So we have a sponsor who gives us a free spray tan once a month, but obviously I just remembered that this was happening and I didn't plan for it, so I couldn't just run over there and get a, my free spray tan of the month. So I just did it myself at home. <laughs> But yeah, this is like the reality of it. Um, a lot of times events and appearances and stuff come up super last minute and we don't have a lot of time to prepare. So you just kind of have to like fit it into your schedule if you can. And it's funny though, because I actually like asked my coach, can I please go to this event? Cause um, she was having just the captains go and I'm a captain, but ever since I tore my ACL, I can't really go to things anymore because there's a chance that we might have to dance. And then what am I gonna do? But she said there's no dancing, so I get to go and I'm excited because I feel like I haven't done anything this semester. But anyway, now that I'm done with that, I can actually go to bed. Good night. It is Wednesday and uh, my classes in the morning were canceled, so I actually don't have to go to school until 2.30. I'm just gonna be here waiting for a guy to come fix our washer. So I probably won't record a lot until the evening just cause like this is boring and y'all don't care. Um, but hold on, you have to see someone. This little brat, she keeps scratching at the door. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you probably see her on like all of my stories. She's a little celebrity, but she's actually really old. She's like 12 or 13. Um, she doesn't act like it though, but she's so funny. I feel kind of bad lately because I don't get home till late and she's here all day by herself. So I let her come in during the mornings that I'm here and just do her thing. Look at her go. It's Thursday and it is a very rainy day. I went to physical therapy this morning and then I was gonna go to work as I usually do on Thursdays, but it's like pouring rain, like it's scary. I drove like halfway to campus and then I turned around because it was just so bad, like you could hardly see. And I'm kind of paranoid now about driving to Houston when it rains this badly because there's there was a flood here pretty recently. I had to get driven home by someone because my car is really small and it was like the streets were flooding. So, you know, I just decided to come back home and I'm working from here for the day. So luckily, like I have a boss who's nice enough to let me work from home when I need to because he understands that I commute. And to be quite honest, everything that I do, <clears throat> I'm able to do at home because all I do is like sit on a computer and do things or like from my phone even because it's social media work. So I'm just chilling here and I'm gonna work for the next few hours. It's just a boring Thursday. I'll probably just go grocery shopping. <laughs> It's been kind of a boring day. All I did was like go work out in the morning and then I went to this like class thing that I have to go to. So it's kind of a busy weekend with dolls because tomorrow there's a women's and a men's basketball game. And then Sunday we have our clinic, which I'll show all of this, I guess, in this video. So it might be kind of long, but I'll go to the men's game and try and get some footage. And then I'll show you guys what we did at our clinic. But for now, I will see y'all at practice. When you run out for player intro, now make one line. I want to run out! Let's go, Coops! <laughs> and now remember, there's a team behind you. Where you go? You don't have a Coops there. So scoot up, you're fine. Just remember to scoot up. And then one and two. Go! And three and four. Yeah? yeah? So get in the columns. Here we go, let's go. Add that on so it's just a pickup. Woohoo! So go, get it! 
If it's loud, it's because I'm driving. Um, so I'm heading to the grocery store right now. And then later today we have our clinic. And at the clinics, usually what happens is we teach choreography and we do technique. And it's really good just like dance experience, but also it helps the girls that are interested in auditioning for the team because they get to see like our style. And it's good for us to see their faces too and be like, at auditions we can be like, oh, they came to our clinic. But yesterday, I didn't really record. The day was just kind of hectic. So in the morning, I had plans with my friend Ariana. Hi, Ariana. She's like my number one fan subscriber on here. We went and got brunch in Houston. And then, ooh, that's bright. I had planned on going to basketball game. And I was going to come in my uniform and like not dance, but just like be on the sidelines. However, I ended up being like a fill-in cheer coach for the day. So I didn't like record a whole lot of myself or like people because I was helping. I still got some footage of the girls dancing. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't like the most like exciting game day either because this was an exhibition game. So we won by a lot. It was like 100 and something to like 40. So I'm about to go into the store and then I will catch up with you guys at the clinic. Bye. Hello friends. It is Sunday night now and I'm just gonna wrap up the video here because it's been a long week of footage and I'm sure you're tired of seeing my face by now. So at clinic, I helped with registration. And then I kind of hung around while the girls were dancing because there's not a whole lot else that I can do right now. Um, but it was a good day. Even though I didn't get to film a lot of things that I wanted to, hopefully you got a little bit of a sneak peek into what we do. And hopefully in the coming weeks, I can get better footage of things. Um, but please let me know if there's anything specific you want me to show or talk about or do and make sure you follow me on my other social media, especially on my Instagram because I want to do a Q&A video next and I want you guys to ask me questions on there. So please go, um, what's it called? Follow me and then also my Twitter will be linked here. So yeah, if there's anything specific that you'd like me to show or talk about, please let me know. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe. Okay, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.